Salutations! Welcome back to Tech 3D. The channel has been abandoned for the last year, uh, and where the host comes back to talk about things that are very, very important, like this. Uh, my name is Neil Cross, uh, Autodesk expert, leads to be using Autodesk software for 20 odd years, blah, 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 yeah, And uh, this video serves two purposes. The first one is to finish off the trilogy of Autodesk University uh, <laughs> videos that I've, that I've only been doing. Uh, and, and to that, that guy who keeps writing the comment on the video saying, don't know what Autodesk University is. It's a, it's a design software conference in Vegas, mate. You, you could have you, you wrote the comment twice. You could have literally googled it, and or I've, I've even made a video on what Autodesk, like specifically titled "What Autodesk University." Never mind. Um, so yeah, and then there's also been a development about Autodesk University, uh, which you just couldn't make up. So yeah, my first AU video a, couple, a few weeks ago was me going, yeah, I'm not going, even though I whinged last year that I wasn't in Vegas, uh, and I wished it was. Uh, I'm not going, it's too expensive. The second is because the Formula 1. second video was like, oh, actually, it's not that bad. It's uh, The price seems to have dropped, so don't, don't let that put you off. Uh, this video was like, I'm going, I'm booked, I'm, I'm going, mate. I am there. So, um, yeah, I had a, f a few messages from people being like, oh, it's sad, you're not going, wouldn't I? So I am, I am going now. So feel free to hit me up when I'm over there. Uh, all that I ask, all that I ask is if I am engaged in deep, what looks like meaningful, lengthy conversation with somebody, just please don't lurk for too long to the side of me making eye contact as like I can't just end that conversation to, to sort of... My, well, you, you'll catch up with me at another point. It, it's it's fine. Uh, it's just personal problems. So yeah, I'm going. I'm going mostly because of the Formula One, mate. I've extended my stay till the Friday, uh, even though AU finishes on the Wednesday, because I really, I, I cannot face leaving knowing that the Formula One's on. I've never, I, I just couldn't. So I'm, yeah, I'm going. I'm hoping to see some of free practice one. Uh, and I think it's, a, is it a sprint weekend? I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm just hoping to see cars move and see them and hear them. Because I'm a huge Formula One fan, so I'm going to be there. Uh, so that's that's the first uh, announcement. I, I'm, I'm going now. Uh, so, the second announcement. Now, Autodesk have special guest speaking at Autodesk University this year. Really high profile guest uh, as a keynote speaker. Now, you'd be forgiven for assuming that because at the same time as Autodesk University this year in Las Vegas, you have happening one of the one of the greatest human feats in engineering going on, the Formula One. Within Formula One, they have some of the most bleeding edge technological advancements happening every year. They've got, each team has their own manufacturing facilities, their own R&D, engineering, design. They are at the, the bleeding edge of design and manufacturing. So you'd be forgiven for thinking, okay, with this special guest, Formula One's in town, maybe they've managed to secure a, a speech from Total Wolf. Right, principal of Mercedes AMG, Christian Horner, Red Bull, Gunther Steiner, Haas, James Vowles, Ed Williams, the team principal for Williams, who used to be uh, used to head up one of the d divisions within Mercedes. You'd be forgiven for for assuming those guys or somebody who works high up at the factories, who's in charge of design and engineering. <laughs> Imagine my delight, my absolute just ecstatic, exuberant delight when this email landed in my inbox this morning. Ryan Reynolds is taking the stage at Autodesk University. Yes, Ryan Reynolds, the that fa that famous designer, Ryan Reynolds, the actor Ryan Reynolds, is taking stage at, at Autodesk University. Um, I have questions, um, many of which will never be answered. Just announced Ryan Reynolds, AU 2023 keynote speaker. So he's he's actually going to be on the main stage. I think probably following on from like Autodesk's vice presidents and, and stuff like that is the ultimate change maker. They've they've really tried desperately to sort of weave in some kind of relatability and relevance to him and the audience. He's a change maker. Is he though? Is he? Is Elton John a change maker? <laughs> right? Is Taylor Swift a change maker? I think so. Does that mean they should be on AU's stage? I don't think so. Oh, man, what the hell? Uh, just to be clear, right, I've got absolutely nothing again. I actually love Ryan Reynolds. I just think his face is mint. He's just got a mint personality. I find him hilarious. I'm not gonna, I've am not not seen many of his films. Deadpool, for example, still not seen it. It's one of those... It's, it has so much hype. It was supposed to be so good that I, I thought to myself, I'm going to watch it in an evening where I've got nothing else to do. I can just engross myself in it and really soak it in. 
but no, that, that night's never come. Uh, there's always something that I should have known better. And I know me. Uh, there's always something that I'd rather be doing or uh, that, I, that I want to do. I, I can't sit still and watch a movie first. I get too bored. Uh, so, yeah, I've not seen many of his films, but I just love him as a person. I think he's a mint. Not, nothing against the guy at all. It's just a very, very strange thing to happen. <laughs> so from a Golden Globe and Grammy-nominated Deadpool film franchise to his recognition as one of the most creative people in business... Um, is really though one of the most? I think Elon Musk might have something to say about that, or Bill Gates, maybe, or or Jeff Bezos, or back as far as Steve Jobs. I mean, most creative Ryan Reynolds. I mean, he he does have side ventures, right? He's not just an actor. He, he's he. he, he I don't know whether he found it, but he owned a gin company and sold it for several hundreds of millions of dollars. And he also owns the UK-based Wrexham Football Club, which is a sort of football club in the very lower league. So he is in business. I wouldn't necessarily describe that as being overly creative, though. I mean, how many people have... How many people run alcohol companies? <laughs> in thousands. Hundreds of thousands. I don't know. Lots of people. I'm pretty sure there's a guy on my street that runs his own little brewery. Ryan Reynolds knows a thing or two about what it means to be a force of change in an ever-changing world. Does he, though? <laughs> Does, I mean, look, I don't, I don't want to sort of smash the, the hopes and dreams of the, the, the Autodesk PR staff that wrote this email and make it out like their entire life's been a lie. But acting's not real. So R Ryan being a, a force of change in an ever-changing world, you know, because of his Golden Globe Grammy-nominated Deadpool, Deadpool wasn't real he, he put on a, a spandex suit made by a, a prop designer and the director told him what to do and say he was following a script it was all produced mostly on green screens he was just jumping around dancing around and it was all cgi'd afterwards i mean the, the people who did the cgi they're probably more qualified to be on stage to, in front of design software professionals than than, than, than ryan reynolds Who's, who's an actor? He, he pretends. He pretends that's his create his job. He cr pretends to do things. I mean, maybe Tom Cruise would have been because Tom Cruise famously do, does all his own stunts, right? So he's he's not averse taking risks. And, and but even that's still very it's a it's a stretch in in terms of relatability to a, a crowd of design professionals who use AutoCAD and Revit and. Uh, Platform services, formerly Forge and all that. Ryan Reynolds, what? So join us at AU to learn about Ryan Reynolds' approach to business, industry, and equity. And what it means to him to design and make a better world. It, it honestly doesn't matter what it means to Ryan Reynolds to design and make a better world. He's got no credentials in the design space at all. None. Uh, he's been acting since he was 19 or something like that. He did join a university, but then he dropped out. To, to be an actor again. So, you know, it, just because he's owned a couple of businesses does not in any way qualify him to be on stage in front of design professionals talking about changing the world as somebody who pretends to, to do things. And, and if the link there is, well, no, films have an impact on society and can change, the, you, can re, you could then relate that to literally anything. Literally anything that happens in the world, you, you could then have a correlation there. It's just what a bizarre thing to happen. What, what a, I, I honestly feel bad for the guy. And if you're wondering why Ryan Reynolds, well, Ryan Reynolds, along with all of his other business ventures, he also owns, I believe, a marketing or advertising agency. Uh, he won't use the software, so his direct sort of relevance and relatability to the media and entertainment arm of Autodesk is again a bit of a stretch. But Autodesk asked Ryan Reynolds' agency to come up with a TV commercial. And the whole premise of the commercial was a fake tribute to a, a, a famous movie director called Otto Desk, O T T O D E S C. And it was right. The commercial was run, and everyone was like, "Who's this Otto? Why is it? Why all these?" And he brought in all of these, you know, f uh, well, a few famous A-lister friends who I actually can't remember who they were. 
but they were given like the, the interviews talking about how great this director was. And when the TV commercials ran, it was supposed to drill up this sort of mis- mystery, this mystique. Who's who's what, who are these people talking about? And then there was this who shot Mr. Burns moment where it was like jokes. It's actually Autodesk, and they're behind the the, the the CGI and all the technology of, that makes movies. And it was supposed to be this like right big jump scare at the end of like wow really never heard of them wow that's something i think it just sort of whatever whatever but that that's the, that's the that's the link between the the start of the link between ryan reynolds he owned the agency that made that tv commercial but obviously they, they've had they've had contact with him or his agent and they've just thought of themselves well uh, right, maybe he's local and we've still got contact with him. Whilst he remembers who we are, let's make hey whilst the sun shines and let's see if we can get him over to AU. Don't care if it's relevant or not, it's just a scoop. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a huge W for us, the fact that we've got Ryan Reynolds talking at our event. Uh, so I think that's how it came about. It was just probably a follow-up from from that commercial. You know, Maybe there's somebody had a conversation, had dinner with his agent and they just thought, well, well he's, got, he's got nothing on that week, let's, let's get him over. I don't know, uh, but that's that's where the link is, and I think that's where the link ends. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. So I, I kind of feel bad for for Ryan Reynolds though, because him himself, he's not a daft bloke. He he will be feeling a bit weird being there. He's going to be thinking like, what can I say to these people? Like I don't understand what they do. I don't know what they do. Some people have told me what uh, Rivet and uh, Auto Cad. I don't care. Is that right? They told me what it is. I don't. I've never looked. I don't know what it. But it's. It looks really impressive. These people are really clever. They've done a lot of input. How How do I relate to them? Other than what I imagine is going to be him just talking about really high level things that he's done, which impacted society, and then try and float that over to the audience and be like, "Well, you're also changing society by doing what you're doing." And I know how important that is. It still doesn't detract from the fact that I don't think you're the right person to be to be saying this. So he'll be feeling weird because he'll know that people will be looking at him going, I don't know why you're here, mate. Like, it's I love, it. you're a great actor, really good actor, impressive what you've done in your life. And yes, you are very handsome. You you clearly uh, you, you won the, 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 the gene pool lottery there. Still don't know why you're here, though. <laughs> so, yeah, I think he's going to be feeling a bit weird himself. But, you know, anyway, I, I, I'll knock it on the head there. That's that's enough for now. Uh, I, like I say, I have nothing against Ryan. I think he's, I think he's awesome. Uh, it's just, it's just what a bizarre email that landed this morning. <laughs> Is it going to sell more AU tickets? I doubt it. I don't think, I don't think there's going to be like an influx of, of ticket purchases just to see Ryan Reynolds on the keynote. <laughs> Imagine Jim's Herios Fabrication Company. Yeah, yeah, Jim. Oi, get over here. Who's that there then? Oi, that Ryan Reynolds. You know that guy from Deadpool? He's going to be on stage at Autodesk University. Is that right? We'll be best get on the flight over to Las Vegas then, mate, eh? Oh, I want to see some Ryan Reynolds. No, it's just not going to happen. No, I don't know what... I, I don't know what all that was just about. It's not going to happen. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. That's just me filling time, making some content, because I haven't done it in a while. So I will be there, you... Uh, in, in November, just mostly for the Formula One, sorry, Autodesk. And if you see me, say hello. Thanks very much. And I'll see you in the next one, whenever that is. Toodles.